is cryptocurrency in its last days? You might be thinking why we are asking this question. The question is valid. But there are various reasons due to which we are seeing the rise and fall of cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies across the world have been thrashed for the last one year. Domestically, even though the government may not consider it illegal, rules and regulations are so strict that investing in these so-called digital assets seems illegal. Well, let's talk about India later on. First, let us look at what is happening in crypto on an international level. Look at the most famous cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. In the last three months, its price have fallen by 15%. This is the case when its price has recovered in recent times. On Thursday, Bitcoin was close to 43,000 US dollars. In three months, it touched a high of 51,987 and a low of 33,000 US dollars. But why is crypto falling like this? There is not one but various reasons for it. First, the governments across the world don't seem to like cryptocurrency very much. But it's not easy for any government to ban cryptocurrency. However, no government is allowing it to thrive. Investors are understanding this slowly. Yes, but due to the Russia-Ukraine war, there were shivers across the world. So, there was some recovery in crypto during March. From 24th February to 24th March, crypto prices increased by 23%. Although there may be some recovery in prices, it is quite below last year's November level when prices were hovering around 68 to 69,000 US dollars. This is an indication that people's interest in cryptocurrency is decreasing. Last year, El Salvador gave permission to use crypto. This infused new hope in the crypto market. But later on, hopes were dashed because there weren't any big transactions in El Salvador. Now let's come back to our own country. In the past one and a half year, there has been a lot of buzz around crypto. A lot of new exchanges have come up. Huge claims are being made. These many crores of investors, this much billions of investment. Well, if you listen to the exchanges, you will start getting dizzy. If you even browse them, then crypto ads will start pestering them. RBI, government, everyone is tense. The government thought if they create a lot of hurdles for crypto, then both investors and exchanges will get demotivated. So crypto is considered gambling and 30% tax is imposed on it. Now the government is changing the finance bill to make crypto laws even stricter. This means you won't be able to set off your loss with some other coin. These changes also include the provision of penalties. This technique of the government is also working. Things are not looking good for crypto in India. All the crypto ads and huge claims are missing. After the recent loss, people are quite disappointed. Why should anyone get in a business with 30% tax? Once it was believed that if the money would leave the share market, then it would go into crypto. But now, this theory is looking flawed. Well, there was a time when crypto changed the fortunes of people. Now. People investing in it are quite scared. In addition to that, strict rules by the government are becoming successful in vandalizing crypto's business.